Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna compare two handbags from two fashion houses. One is from Dior, that is the Lady Dior in the small size, and the other one is from Chanel, that is the Chanel Coco handle in the mini size, or right now they call it in the small size. In today's video, we're gonna compare their features, size, price, capacity, and I also will insert some model shots for your reference on 52. Lastly, I will talk about my thoughts, which one I prefer, and also I will mention pros and cons for those two handbags. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's just do the size comparison side by side. As you can see, the Lady Dior in the small size is a little bit bigger than the Chanel Coco handle. And then later we're gonna do the capacity comparison so you will see more clearly. So the one I have it is this color is a smoke gray. It comes with the gold hardware. Back doesn't have a pocket, bottom has four feet. And the open like that, it has the one piece of the leather, you just open like this. And the interior is a fabric, back there has a zipper pocket. It comes with the removable strap, this strap you can wear crossbody or you can wear shoulder bag. Chanel Coco handle in the mini size. The one I have is a caviar leather with a gold hardware, back has a pocket, bottom has a feet. It comes with a removable strap. This strap is a little bit shorter to wear as a crossbody, so I normally use as a shoulder bag. Interior is burgundy color fabric, back has the zipper pocket and also have a back pocket. This back pocket it can fit my iPhone 11. And the middle has a slipper pocket and the front has the big pocket. This pocket you can fit Louis Vuitton mini push up. So the next thing we're gonna do the capacity and I will fill everything into the Lady Dior bag and then transfer everything to the Chanel Coco handle. You will see the capacity difference. Now I fill everything in the Lady Dior in the small size and I'm gonna quickly show you what's inside. Yes, yeah, it's everything. It's not in the maximum. I think I still can put something on the top as you can see. But you know, I'm not gonna overload it. I just wanted to tell you guys, this bag, you cannot overload it. Once you lost the structure and never able to get a bag. So try not. Uh, so what I have here is sunny and reading glasses. Car holder, one lipstick case, my cell phone, my Zoe wallet, key pouch, and my business car holder. So that's all I put it inside the bag. Okay, so this is everything in the Lady Dior in the small size. Now we're gonna move everything to the Chanel Coco handle in the mini size. So I will pick the essential first, the, the cell phone, all the way back. So you will want additional card holder, key pouch. I will go for the reading glasses. Put the back there. And I put the business card holder. I may have a problem. Let's try. Okay. Leave it like that. And uh, the one lipstick definitely not. So I will take just put a one lipstick there. I don't even know I can do that. Okay. So let's try. I may have a problem to close because the my reading glasses is stuck there. So let me take it out. Forget it. Just leave it like that. So this is the uh, the capacity, this mini is a lot smaller than the Lady Dior small size. So the thing I don't go in is it right here. It's the sunny lipstick case and my reading glasses. So this is basically their capacity. So now I'm going to talk about my thoughts, uh, which one I prefer. 
I love both of them, both is so classic and a lady look back. However, if you ask me, I have to pick one, which one I will pick. I will definitely go for the Chanel Coco handle in the mini size. I feel I use this bag as a more comfortable than the Lady Dior bag. The leather is a very durable, it's a caviar leather and I'm not a very careful person so I don't need to baby this bag, I could scratch the bag and without the notice. This leather is super super durable and I love the caviar leather. Most of my Chanel bag is come with a caviar leather. Second thing I love is the price tag. The, currently this price is $3,900, I think it's still very good price point compared with the Chanel classic handbag so I think this is the good price tag for this bag. The only con for this bag I think is the strap. A lot of people complain about the strap is too short. Indeed it is very short especially for people who are very tall not able to wear as a crossbody. So if this strap can add two more inch it will be the perfect. So this is the only con for this bag. I think the Chanel Coco handle is still in the good price point among the other Chanel handbag. It is very classic even though this bag is not in the classic line. This is good actually we can take advantage on that. This bag doesn't increase every single year so when the classic flop increases. So this is actually a good point. Compared with the classic flop I think this one is a more elegant look. I think the top handle bag is more feminine than the classic flop so I more prefer the top handle. I highly highly recommend this one who are thinking to get a Chanel bag you know you can get the Coco handle instead of, instead of the classic flop. It is very classic bag. I'm not so sure this one eventually will go to the classic line. Hope not. I wish not so it won't increase so much. The reason I didn't pick a Lady Dior bag between two because I have two reasons. One is the price tag. So currently this bag is $4,700. I think it's so so pricey. And the I purchased from pre-loved market was excellent condition. I'm very very happy I got this one. And right now I read the article saying that Lady Dior bag resale value is going up very fast. So if you're still thinking for the Lady Dior bag from pre-loved market, you should consider to get it as soon as possible. This is the con of this bag. I think it's too pricey. The second con of this bag is the material. It is very luxurious look and feel. However, because it's a lamb skin, so it's very easy to get a scratch. Like myself, I'm not a careful person, so I when I use this bag, I need to pay attention. I need to baby this bag. So it's not a 100% comfortable bag. And plus this piece of the leather, I can tell you I rather to have, I just scratch again. I rather to have a zipper. This piece of the leather will show the wear and the tear very quickly. Every single time when I touch that, for some reason I will scratch it. So outside or inside both side on the, this piece of the leather, it just got so easy to get a scratch. I have to take off my ring, my jewelry, make sure I have nothing on my finger so otherwise you, you can imagine how bad this piece of the leather is going to be and it will be showing the wear and the tear very quick. When I use the Chanel Coco handle I don't have this feeling because it's a caviar leather. It's a pretty durable and scratch resistant so I don't need to worry about it but when I wear this oh my goodness I have to be very careful. However, this one, it is not for the everyday bag, so I use it once in a while, I can handle it, but if we, it's imagine this is gonna be the everyday bag, it's impossible. So that's why I prefer the Chanel Coco handle in the mini size. So that's all about today's video, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you very soon, have a wonderful day, bye bye.